Hey guys, Justin with Kite Catfish. Out here on Watts Bar this morning, going to do some more vertical jigging to try to target flatheads on these deeper ledges. So, um, if you notice off the right side of my kayak, I still have two rods with suspended baits. I've got pieces of cut skipjack on there. And I've got those a little higher off the bottom than usual. I've got those at about five feet off the bottom just because as the contours change, as the depth changes down through here, I don't want to have to be fooling with those rods. I don't want to have to be adjusting them up and down while I'm focusing on jigging. So um, for my bait today on these jigs, I've got pieces of cut skipjack. I got some fresh skipjack yesterday, so uh, that's what I'm going to be using. I've basically just taken a small chunk of it, slid it up on this jig head, and uh, like I said, I'm just going to make my way down this ledge, just working the jig up and down, dropping it down to all those little crevices down in there that, that flatheads could hide in. Uh, this area it's just a ledge full of rocks and debris and lots of little hidey holes for flatheads to get in. So uh, hopefully as we make our way down this ledge, we're going to put this bait right in their face, maybe get one to bite. I really, really, really want to get a big fish doing this technique. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, my last video there, you know, I was using a, a lighter action rod. Uh, I've beefed it up a little bit this time. I still wanted to go with a graphite rod for this just for comfort of doing this for any length of time because uh, it is a little bit you know physically exhausting to do this all day long but uh, I've just got a seven foot heavy action bass rod this is my old Carolina rig rod so hopefully it'll just be just light enough that I can comfortably do this technique but still enough backbone that if I do get a big fish on that I've got a chance of getting it in so uh, don't know if that's gonna work out or not but we don't know till we try so let's get after them There, let's work on getting this one on the suspended rod. All right, fish number one on the day. Not on the jigging rod, but I'll take a bite any way I can get it. Let's let him go. There we go. Guys, we got a good fish on right here. That's a good fish. Get my other suspended rod with a skipjack head. It's a better fish, I think. I moved over here to this uh, this little drop off across the channel from where I was. I spent about an hour just kind of probing along those ledges there. Didn't do any good, didn't get any bites at all. Um, so I come over here, of course, I got that one little dink blue cat on my other suspended rod. Now we got this one on here, so not much happening on the, the jigging rod yet, even. Even haven't been able to get any dinks take it, so we'll keep after them though. So all you can do is just keep moving forward. All right, buddy. Take a look at that. <laughs> Pretty nice fish. Check out them holes in the top of his fin there. I don't know if you can see that or not. He's got two almost perfect size holes there. That's weird. Never seen that before. Huh. Pretty good fish. Unfortunately, you know, we out here trying to catch them on the jigging rod didn't happen, but that's why I put these suspended baits out. Just, you know, try to catch a fish like this while we work on the on the jigging rod. So <laughs> pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Let's let him go. another fish on. I was just taking a break, giving my wrist a, a break from jigging. I'm just trolling along this drop off here. A couple baits suspended. Yeah, here we go. A little fella. There he is. <laughs> Let's let him go. I think he's on. Yeah, he's on there. He's on there. 
Cool. Yeah, he's a whopper. Let's see you, buddy. He's finally hooked up this time. One going crazy here, I was getting hooked. And this one took off, buddy. <laughs> this is a better fish here, I believe, buddy. I've been out here periodically just jigging my... It's such a tiresome tactic. I had taken another little break from it here and was just kind of using the wind up. I don't have much current out here today, but the wind is just a light breeze blowing downstream. And so I've just been using it to kind of move along this drop off. Just had two pieces of cut skipjack suspended. This is a good fish right here. Good fish. I'll tell you, you know, that's the that's just the fun thing about catfishing. I mean you just never know. That next bite, that the next fish that hits, he could be two pounds, he could be 20, he could be 100. You just never know. That's that's part of the fun of it for me, the anticipation, I think, is what I love about catfishing so much. All right, guys, I put that one back in the holder a second. We're going to get rid of this little one. Send him back there. Now, we'll get this big one up here and see if we can't get some pictures with him. Alright, let's do this. Oh, buddy. Looky there, guys. <laughs> Looky there. <laughs> That's a dang good fish, buddy. That is another trophy class Tennessee River blue cat. What a fun fight, man. Except <laughs> I'm just out here fishing with two suspended rods right now, two suspended baits. So I'd kind of taken a break from the, the jigging rod. And <laughs> you just never know when the big one's gonna hit. <laughs> Let's let him go, get back down in there. See you next time, pal. There he goes. All right, y'all, well, the morning didn't go as planned, but you know what, I still had a damn good time out here today. I uh, came out here with the goal of, of trying to catch some fish on vertical jigging, and it just didn't work out. Uh, you know, I hit that ledge over there to start with, didn't get a bite, moved over to the drop off where I thought at least maybe I could get some smaller blue cats on it. They wouldn't touch it either. But thankfully, I brought those two other rods with me, and I had pieces of cut skipjack suspended with them, and I got some action from that, including two really nice blue cats, and that one was 38 inches. I mean, that's another tarp, so. A dang good fish. I'm, I'm proud of that. But, uh, you know, I, I came out here wanting to do some vertical jigging and catch a big fish on it, and it just didn't work out. I just I just couldn't make it happen today. Hopefully at some point here in the future we'll, we'll get one doing that technique, though. But uh, anyway, guys, I got to get on out of here today. Got some stuff to do this afternoon. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again real soon.